In this video, you'll learn how to easily customize a calendar template in Excel, including adding appointments, images, multi-day events, and checklists, as well as how to easily change the overall design. This is one of our most popular calendar templates. It doesn't use formulas like many of our others do, which means you can customize it without worrying about messing anything up. Let's start off by adding an event. In this case, we'll add no school to March 5th. To make this stand out a bit more, we'll give it a background color. To make this event span multiple days, you can click and drag on the cell fill handle. It's also easy to copy and paste events that happen multiple times in a month. Merging cells is another easy way to add a multi-day event. First, I'll select these three days and use the merge across command. Next, I'll type in all the details. Notice that by merging, I have a lot more room for additional information. To make this stand out even more, I'll add a dark background color and change the font color to white. Next, let's add a couple appointments that include time and location. In this template, these cells are merged by default. By unmerging them, we'll have a great way to include the time in one cell and the location in another. First, we'll unmerge the cells. Next, I'll add the time in the first cell using P for PM to save some space. Then, in the next cell, I'll type in the location. You can also change the justification of the text to left, center, or right. I'll go with left. I'll add a background color, font color, and make the time bold. Instead of having to do this for each appointment, you can use the Format Painter. First, select the cells you want to use, then click on the Format Painter. Now click on the cells you want to apply the styles to. You can see as I type in a new appointment that the font styles match. I want to make St. Patrick's Day more fun by adding an image. So I'll click in the general area where I want my image to be, then click on Insert. Then on the Illustrations group. Excel provides many ways to add images from your computer or online. For example, let's do a quick online pictures search for Clover images. Now let's look at some other ways to add images. Again, under Illustrations group, you'll see that you can add many different shapes. But for this example, we're going to use the icons that are available in Excel 365. We'll search for Clover. I really like the first option, so I'll click on that and then click Insert. To resize the image, simply click and drag on any corner. To change the fill color, under Graphics Format, click on Graphics Fill and choose the color you'd like. Using Excel themes is a fast way to change the colors and fonts of any theme-enabled template. To do this, click on Page Layout, then Themes. You'll see as I hover over the different themes, Excel shows a live preview of how the calendar will look. To change just the colors, use the Colors drop-down. Next, I'll show how to add checklists to your calendar. First, unmerge these cells. In the left cell, we'll insert a symbol that looks like a checkbox. Go to Insert, Symbols, Symbol. Then choose the font Sego UI Symbol and the subset Geometric Shapes. You can select any checkbox shape you'd like. I'll choose the box with rounded corners. And then click Insert. Now I'll copy these two cells down. On Mondays, I want to remind myself to take out the trash and exercise, so I'll type those in. Then I'll switch the text to left justification. Finally, I'll copy and paste these into the other Mondays of the month. I 
hope this video gave you some great ideas and new skills for customizing a calendar with Excel. To help support our channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.